Hello again friends, Lounge Lizard here with another review in my Dulles series, the Air France KLM Lounge. This is a priority pass lounge with access also granted to Sky Team Elite Flyers, plus business and first class passengers of KLM and Air France. The bar is very accessible in this space, like as soon as you walk in. It's a small bar with no seats, but has some really incredible finds, like the house champagne is Tad and Jay. Next to the bar is a space for plugging in and for getting work done. And like other lounges in this concourse, the space is flooded with natural light and nice apron views. Furnishings are modern and well-maintained. Shower facilities are here as well. Seating capacity is around 75, and that is including this hidden spot behind the check-in desk. For the daily Air France flight, dinner is served here for those passengers only. Based on my research, this lounge was remodeled in 2020, which is why everything is in tip-top shape. This back area here is roped off, and uh, in lounges of this size for international carriers, that typically means it's reserved for first-class passengers only to guarantee seating. So let's take a look at the buffet. I particularly love the sign uh, next to the bread that warns you that the large bread is for display only. The French bread sandwiches were very good, and despite their small size, will fill you up. I also highly recommend you try the lemonade, which was very refreshing. The cookies, also very tasty, and I recommend you try as well. Uh, meat and cheese options and chips are also available on this bar. So now it is time to assign this lounge a score using the Lounge Lizard Vodka Soda rating system. To start, bar access, five out of five vodka sodas. The bar is right next to the door. I don't know how much closer you can get between the terminal and the bar once you get into this lounge space. So five out of five there. Power availability was a two out of five. Yes, there's plugs along the wall. Um, a lot of the other seats had few to no plugs. So power availability could be better in this space. Seat comfort, four out of five. All the furnishings are new, they're well maintained, um, and you won't have difficulty finding something, uh, a really comfortable place to sit down. Hot food, two out of five. There really isn't hot food, but uh, the food offerings are quite good. Um, I'm sure that this review rating would be higher if I had that um, dinner option that's available to the Air France flight. Wi-Fi, five out of five. When I clocked the speed, it was 94 megabits down, um, which is very, very good. Ambiance is three out of five. It's a clean and refreshing space. Feels a little tight, I'd imagine, once uh, things fill up there um, before the Air France flight. Cushy amenities, two out of five because there's a shower, but not much else. Value is a four out of five. Um, the champagne alone, you would definitely get your money's worth after just a few glasses, especially if you're visiting here on a Priority Pass membership. So overall, that puts this lounge at a 27 out of 40, which is in the mid-range of all of our other lounges that we've reviewed. So let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and continue to like, subscribe, and share.